Hello, our loves. Are you in a twin flame connection and ever wonder, can I just send a text to my person? I'm going to get deep on this video because this is confusing stuff, right? I mean, can't I just send a quick text hello? I'm going to get real with all of you. I know this twin flame connection doesn't always feel like it makes sense. Why can't you just text them when you feel like it or even just stop by and see them? Why is there this amazing connection and suddenly they disappear the next day? What's happening? How can it be amazing and then nothing? Am I going crazy? No, my love, you are in a twin flame connection and the rules that apply to a typical relationship doesn't apply in this energetic connection. You are in luck. We just created a balancing program focused on balancing you from the first text message all the way to a relating experience. We have literally spent a year working on this balancing program and creating tools specifically to navigate through this energetic connection. There is nothing else like it out there. Click on the link below if you want more information. So you've detoxed, you can't run from your connection, so now what? What does balancing this connection even look like? This week is all about balancing. You'll not find this topic discussed anywhere else. So make sure you're subscribed, check out our revolutionary balancing product and start balancing your twin flame connection. Okay, so let's say you're in separation from your twin and you want to send a quick text message, something very, very simple like, hey, just wanted to see how you're doing, hope all is well. To a 3D relationship, to a soulmate, to anybody else, that would be a perfectly acceptable text um, to send when you haven't talked in a while. But your twin is not reading the words that you're writing. Your twin is feeling the energy that is going along with that message. The words are irrelevant. You could say, I freaking love you so much. I can't miss you so much. I want you in my space right now. Or you could say, hey, how's everything going? They mean the same if the energy is the same. Okay, so let's get that straight again. You could have something as simple as, hi, how are you? And it could send them the same energetic response as you saying, I miss you so much, why aren't you here? Two totally different, in the 3D, two totally different messages, but to your twin, same energy. They're gonna get the same energy from either message if you are sending it from mind. If you're in mind when you send that message and you're not in soul, and remember, the quickest, easiest way to know if you're in soul before you send a message or pick up that phone, because you only wanna communicate through soul. That's the only place that this connection can thrive. The easiest way to know if you're in soul before you pick up that phone or the computer and send a message, ask yourself, is there any preference or expectation when I send this message? So what does that mean? Close your eyes and picture you just send that message of, hey, how are you? Hope all is well. Are you going to be checking your phone for a response? Be honest with yourself, right? You sending a message through mind can only set you back. If you are in soul, totally fine. You can do anything you want through soul because that's where your connection thrives. That's where they can reach you. That's where they can meet you. But if you are even slightly in mind, so you're expecting or you have a preference, you're expecting a response back, or you have a preference of how they will respond, whatever it is, an expectation or preference means you're in mind. Do not send that message. You're gonna push them with the energy. Like I said, the energy of, hey, how are you, is the exact same energy as, I miss you, I need you, I want you. The same thing to them. They cannot tell a difference because this is an energetic connection. So if you're gonna communicate and you're in separation or you're going to communicate and you are you are communicating you're in a place of um balancing you always still want to do it through soul it needs to be through soul or you will push 
So ask yourself that. Is there any expectation or preference? If the answer is no, and you can send that, hey, how are you? And you don't even, you do not care if they respond back. You are totally fine either way. You are in a place of neutrality, of peace. You're good to send that message. But if you even have the slightest resistance or the slightest hope that they're going to respond back, you're in mind, don't send that message. Hope this video helps. We are excited to share with you our revolutionary twin flame balancing program. Learn how to balance the energy from first text to permanent relating experience, regardless of where you are at in your journey. Click on the link below. We love you.